Hello everyone, it's Dee here. I'm out here on the Jamun or Jambolan tree. I don't think I've done any coverage on this tree at all. I bought this tree, well actually I didn't personally bought to myself. My dad bought it from a Cambodian man out in the uh, Sunday markets. Now this tree has been here for, for a very long time. So for as long as I purchased this land, I think this is like probably like less, maybe seven to eight years now. And I've read up, I, I personally think that this tree um, will take a while, at least 10 years to fruit. And I never really knew what it is. Um, the Jambolan or Jamun uh, fruit, I know they sell it out in the community because I've had it for two years now and uh, it tastes relatively nice. Uh, I didn't, when it's fully ripe, it tastes quite nice. I liked it. I certainly think it's very beneficial for you. Look at the native flowers and the bees are just buzzing. So we used to grow at the very beginning, I think about six trees. And only the ones behind the fence are still alive. So it's this one and the one down here. This one is doing a lot better. It's a very healthy tree. It does very well in the heat, in this warm temperate condition it's coming up to eight to ten years well I wouldn't say it's ten years because I've only worked in my job for ten years so it can't be ten years probably it's eight years I read on the uh, website that they generally fruit around in the eight years or in the tenth year. I'm hoping maybe in the next two years is it will fruit. But if anyone out there knows how I can get this to fruit quicker, put it in the comments because <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Look at that lizard there. Uh, The reason why the fence was up, uh, th there used to be like around four over the other side. Uh, we used to let the neighbor have the cows over. And then the cows start to wreck, you know, our garden. So we said no, but the existing fence is still here. Um, that's why you see that line of tree out there. They were planted by me. And they used to, where the gaps are is where the jambolan used to be. If it was still alive, it would be around about this size now. So, maybe I thought I would prune it this year because I've never done anything to this tree. Like, I, we just planted here and we just left it. And I never knew that I had a jambolan tree until quite recently. Uh, my dad bought it and he he knows about it uh, in Vietnamese it's called Kei Jam it just means uh, I don't know whether it's accurate translation but layman term Kei Jam just means a hundred <laughs> in the hundreds 
So when you grow one of this, if you think about um, good luck, it means uh, a hundred of something multiply, right? I guess when they fruit, it's like in the hundred, isn't it? Or thousands of hundreds. Very low maintenance. High level of vitamin C and all sorts of other vitamins. So let's knee prune this thing. And hopefully if this year it fruit or it flowers, that will be amazing, right? <laughs> So what I'm aiming to do is maybe if I stress the tree, it doesn't sound like a, I'm being a very nice person, if I prune it, it might promote some fruiting. So I'm not doing a lot of pruning because it has been quite hot and I just want to do a little bit just to give the tree more sun, not that it needs any more sun. Um, mind you, I'm out in a rural farming property so always watch out for danger, snakes. <laughs> the Jambolan season is around I think March, April from vaguely from memory these trees like once it start to fruit the berries itself you can germinate like thousands like hundreds to thousands of plant but if you unless you can mark out it it's going to take a very long time to fruit from a seedling um, so let's see what happened this year wish me luck <laughs> I mean I'm just causing a little bit of stress from the pruning because like I said I neglect this tree because it's not in my top priority it's such a low maintenance tree I just put it here and I have not really pay much attention to it I don't want to prune this tree excessively because the direction of the wind from the, there it's can be quite strong so I want to leave the form as much as possible but in there because the other tree got heaps of other trees around it um, I just I pruned a little bit more around the base and the other thing to watch out is termite uh, you can see on the side as I was moving in 
sometimes it's not just the weather that you have to look out for it's like all the stuff underneath the termites as well it will just eat this away so I print very sparingly just to be mindful of the weather and as much as I like you know to see it in fruit I don't want to put it through a lot of stress Okay, take care everyone. <laughs> Hopefully I can see some fruit and uh, do an update. Bye.